Hello guys, this is Linus, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. Today I'm gonna talk magic paper clips turned into a fantastic CW paddles. This is the original Elecraft CW paddle, which is designed to use together with your Elecraft KX2. And I like it very much, except that I've tried it to use several times in my one of my winter outings, like today, in the open air, at the freezing temperature, at the high humidity, and I noticed that this otherwise very nice and very convenient to use paddle uh, started getting a little bit erratic. Uh, maybe it, it, it was getting moisture in, uh, in between the contacts, maybe uh, this moisture started freezing, so uh, I was not able to use this nice paddle at all. Then I decided that I can make a replacement paddle myself based on the famous foldback paperclip design. The paperclip paddle is pretty convenient to use. It sits firmly in the KX2 and it's very easy to operate. It even stands and is capable of the iambic squeezing operation. Very simple construction and very reliable performance. I can use it in any weather, in raining and freezing and snowing, and it, and it, and it manipulates as well as the original Elecraft CW paddle. And what is most important, you can do it yourself. Yes, you can. You can do it yourself at very minimal expenses and few hours of your work. All you need is just a fold-back paper clip, another traditional trombone clip, few small pieces of PCB material, some grinding and some soldering. That's it. Regretfully, I'm not the author of this great fold-back paperclip CW paddle idea. I found this idea in my favorite Spread magazine in autumn edition of 2005. So if you got one, uh, so you can go, you can go to the page 14 and you'll find a short but very informative article on how to make it and, and some guidance. Uh, the author of the article is Clive Mike Five Charlie Charlie Hotel but he also claims no uh, authorship of this, of this idea. So, and he quotes some unknown source in the United States of America. So, if you guys know who's the author of this uh, fallback paperclip CW pedal, please drop me a line in the comment section. That would be interesting to know. So, since I've learned about this wonderful design from my Sprat magazine in 2005, I've made since no less than four incarnations of uh, CW uh, fallback paperclip paddle. One was designed for Elecraft KX2, that's I think my latest construction. My first one was this universal CW paddle, usable with any radio. Uh, then it was CW paddle integrated with a Pico keyer, a wonderful, wonderful automatic keyer. And uh, I also designed another one for my uh, LNR Precision Mountain Topper, a great tiny radio. So, but it was lacking, um, it was lacking a CW paddle integrated a, a little bit in a way as, as it's done in the KX2. So just, I decided to design another uh, fold-back paperclip paddle and just to screw it on on the side of the mountain topper and it works flawlessly i use it anytime i take this radio with me so guys the key word in this project is springiness the secret is 
in modifying the metal body of the clip in a way that the natural forces of springiness would make the metal handle of the clip to stick away from the metal body of the clip. At the moment, the natural forces of springiness make the handle lean towards the body. So this is not what we want. We want the springiness be the opposite direction. How do we achieve that? We do that by grinding. So in order to better understand where to grind, how to grind and what goal we want to achieve by grinding, let's take a look at this close-up picture of the paperclip project. So here on this picture we see the metal body of a paperclip with one arm removed and here you see the metal bits of the paperclip body which has got a sharp edge here. The goal is to change the angle of this sharp edge into uh, the opposite than it is now. So the grind off line goes like this here shown in red. So our goal is to grind off the excess of this edge and to make uh, it look like in this other picture here. The metal bit of the uh, paper clip is already after the grinding and it looks differently from the one which we see in uh, this picture. Grinding might seem a difficult job to do, but it's really not. All you need is to have a, any kind of electrical grinder. You may have Dremel tools, in my case I use for more than 10 years now uh, a no-name, very good quality grinding machine. Uh, originally it was designed I think for the modeling hobby. You just insert the grinding bit in it, uh, connect the 12 volt battery and here you go. Before start grinding actually you need to remove the metal handles in order to get access to the metal bits. In order to remove the handle, you need to squeeze it and take it off the clip. So you can see the sharp edge here, which we need to grind off this direction and to remove the sharpness and, and change the angle of this metal bit. The same procedure should be done with the other side of the bit. Basically, it's finished. Uh, I, I, I was not very careful and uh, I scratched the paint from the body, but it's nothing, nothing terrible because anyway, the most probably the small PCB will be glued on, 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 on this place and on this place. So uh, to make the, um, the contact, now we can put the handle back. So, you see, the forces of springiness makes the handle stick out like almost vertically all the time. So, 
that's what we want in comparison with the site which is not done yet so you see it's no springiness at all it's the opposite the forces make make the handle uh, lean towards the body because the angle because the angle of, of, of these metal bits is, is, is different. So we have to do the same, uh, or actually you have to do the same if you do this, uh, with, the, with the other side. It will take maybe another five or, or 10 minutes to, to, to grind, but it's really, it's really nothing, nothing difficult or, or, or nothing, you, you know, nothing terrible. So by now, I hope you've done with grinding on both sides and you have the handles springing happily on both sides and now it's time to talk about the contacts for your dits, dats and ground to explain this i think it's best of all if i take one of my ready-made pedals like this one which looks a little bit ugly but uh, but it works very nicely with my mountain topper radio so uh, we see that there are small pieces of PCB on each side. Like one small of PCB is glued here, the other is glued on here. So these gonna be correspondingly going for the for the tip ring or sleeve of your uh, stereo connector. So these two pieces of PCB should be as thin as possible and uh, the dimensions not critical it could be just you know <laughs> actually any dimensions fitting into this space if you have bigger or you want bigger and you want to both parts of the uh, handle touch the contact you may do the PCB longer covering the whole area of the on the side of the of the metal body mm, so it's not really critical the whole problem here uh, might be the quality of your glue uh, you need to find a glue which would reliably glue together uh, the metal body or is actually the painted uh, painted metal body uh, with a pcb material which could be one-sided then then it's the other side is PCB material or it could, could be double sided PCB so so it's actually the other side is also metal side copper side copper clad side so you need to find the right glue to glue it on uh, reliably so Yoohoo cement or something like that could go good and then uh, you have to make a ground contact you may see on camera that the uh, the small area on the inner side of the paperclip body uh, the paint is scratched off and then uh, the 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 naked metal is open up and this naked metal is solderable uh, you can solder uh, so quite easily uh, just you need to, to put some right uh, soldering flux on it this is a uh, stereo earphone cable so this cable got one inner contact and one ground contact so there are two uh, two wires going together in this in this cable so we have uh, one uh, one inner contact the other inner contact and two ground contacts are soldered together and then they both soldered on uh, to the body of the metal clip so now you see this thing this is a reconfigured another paper clip the trombone the trombone paper clip so then all you need to do when you shape it in this form you simply slide it in into this area which is between your carrying wood piece of wood in my case uh, and and the body and the body of the clip and that's it it it's no need to to glue or to solder nothing the role of this trombone clip is to make a limitation of movement of your uh, 
paper clip handles so you see uh, otherwise if there would be no uh, trombone clip here uh, you would have <laughs> the handle going unlimited so when we put the modified trombone clip in, into this space there and uh, we have uh, handles limited by by the size of the trombone clip so this is a perfect so to say a design which allows for also regulating the space between the contact this is very important when you operate when you operate uh, the uh, cw pedal of course you always want to regulate to to your most convenience the gap between the pedal between the lever and the contact so this is done easily in this design uh, by simply squeezing or releasing uh, the uh, sides of the trombone clip so if you feel like uh, if you feel that the contact is too loose uh, so and you want the gap closer the smaller gap you just simply take the pliers and you can and you can just squeeze slightly at the, your most convenience when you feel that you are uh, that you are happy now uh, i'm happy now because it's already <laughs> regulated but uh, uh, so and if you feel that it's uh, you know pressed too much you just you know take take the pliers again and very carefully you may bend it back and the gap will increase as it comes to the final so to say design and to the, the final finishing of your product like this my first pedal i made many many years ago you may do whatever you wish in this case uh, i took i think the handle of some small hammer or something like that cut off a piece of it uh, drilled a hole through it like that and let the cable go through it and it was sorted here to the contacts nowadays as you guys most of you might have the 3d printers which i'm not yet regrettably uh, you may use your 3d printer to print out anything you want any shape of the of the your paddle holder you know, of your clip holder actually uh, any shape any any size if you wish you can put some 3d printed buttons or real buttons uh, like here in order in order to have uh, levers of the paddle looking uh, more nicely or more convenient for me it's convenient as it is no problems to to manipulate no problems for touching so but uh, the sky is the the limit for your creativity in doing in making this type of the paddle the most important thing is of course the paper clip and today i was trying to guide you through some of the difficult moments of making this nice cw pedal so guys that's the magic story about simple paper clip turned into a wonderful cw pedal maybe it's not a begali pedal but still it's a great one evening project and a perfect accessory in your outdoors shack in the box Drop me a line if you've got some questions in building this paddle or you want to share your own experience about your own projects. Please consider subscribing if you like what I'm doing. And for today, that's it. Thanks for watching. 73. This is Linus, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel.